let's look at three diagrams on power, permutation, and combination. In power, we can have repetition and order. Let's look at an example. Olivia is choosing two scoops from three flavors, mango, strawberry, or chocolate. How many different kinds of ice cream are available for her to choose from? No condition is specified, so you can choose whatever you like. For the first scoop, she can have mango, strawberry, or chocolate. For the second scoop, after choosing mango, she can have mango again, or strawberry, or chocolate. After strawberry, mango, or strawberry, or chocolate. After chocolate, mango, strawberry, or chocolate. We have three choices for the first scoop, and we have three choices again for the second scoop. So that is 3 squared equals to 3 times 3 equals to 9 kinds of ice cream for Olivia to choose from. In permutation, it is the same as the power, but no repetition. We can still have order. Let's look at an example. Olivia is choosing two scoops from three flavors, mango, strawberry, or chocolate. The two scoops must be of different flavors. How many different kinds of ice cream are available for her to choose from? For the first scoop, she can have mango, strawberry, or chocolate. Since the second scoop must be of different flavor, so after choosing mango, she can't have mango again. She is left with strawberry or chocolate. After strawberry, mango or chocolate. After chocolate, mango or strawberry. She has three choices for the first scoop. Then the second scoop must be of a different flavor, so she's left with two choices for the second scoop. 3 times 2 equals to 6 kinds of ice cream for Olivia to choose from. Combination is the same as permutation, but with a new condition. Order does not matter. Let's look at an example. Olivia is choosing two scoops from three flavors, mango, strawberry, or chocolate. The two scoops must be of different flavors, and order does not matter. How many different kinds of ice cream are available for her to choose from? For the first scoop, she may choose mango, strawberry, or chocolate. Since the second scoop must be of different flavor, so after choosing mango, she can only choose strawberry or chocolate. After strawberry, mango or chocolate. After chocolate, mango or strawberry. She has three choices for the first scoop, but she is left with two choices for the second scoop. Three times two equals to six. Six choices. However, order does not matter. Mango strawberry is considered to be the same as strawberry mango, so this is not counted as a choice. Similarly, mango chocolate is not counted because this is considered to be the same as chocolate mango. And strawberry chocolate will not be counted as well. So instead of six, we have two arrangements for each selection. So we have to divide six by two. So three times two divided by two Olivia is left with three choices for her ice creams.